Hi, I'm David Koulis, a sales engineer with Hi Hypotronics. Today I'd like to take you behind the scenes for a live demonstration of how to set up and safely operate our 5250 portable primary cable fault locator in basic mode. Before we begin, we'd like to stress the importance of safety. The appropriate personal protective equipment should be used when testing with high voltage. Please follow the appropriate guidelines as outlined by your company. The 5250 series is a capacitive discharge unit combined with an integral time domain reflectometer or TDR mounted on a wheeled hand cart for portability. The 5250 series is offered with voltages up to 15 kV DC or 30 kV DC and joule energy up to 2000 joules. The 5250 series allow the user to quickly and efficiently locate underground cable faults. Let's start by powering on the 5250. First, let's switch the power on and next we'll make sure that the unit is in TDR mode. And then we'll open up the TDR case and then power on the TDR. In TDR mode, 5250 is controlled entirely through the TDR. The TDR has two modes of operation, basic mode and advanced mode. In basic mode, the user is guided through the standard cable fault locating process step by step. In advanced mode, the user is in complete control and can make adjustments on the fly. For this demonstration, let's operate the unit in basic mode and walk through the cable fault locating test sequence. Let's assume this is the first time operating the 5250. First, we must set up the hookup point. The hookup point takes into consideration the additional cable from the unit or if the unit is connected to a cable rail as well. To set up the hookup point, let's go into advanced mode. Your unit may or may not be password protected. If it is, please enter the password and then hit OK. In advanced mode, you will want to select adjust and then a series of options will show up on the bottom of the screen here. You'd want to select hookup point and now we're ready to set up the hookup point. Next, the TDR will prompt the user to short the connecting cable leads together. At this point, you will want to put on your rubber gloves, pick up the high voltage return lead and the high voltage lead as well. You want to clamp the two together like so then hit OK on the TDR. Next, the user will be prompted to open the circuit, like so. You can throw the leads on the ground, take your gloves off, and then press OK on the TDR. At this point, the TDR will automatically locate where the hookup point is. And that is depicted on the screen with the red line being the shorted connection showing a negative inflection and then the green line showing the open circuit with a positive inflection. The intersection at that point is where the hookup point will be located. If satisfied, you can press OK. Once the hookup point has been saved, it will not have to be set up again unless the operator happens to adjust the start cursor during the cable fault locating test sequence. Now we're ready to start the test sequence, so let's hit main menu to get back to the basic mode menu, select basic mode, and now we're back at the basic mode main menu. Now we're prepared to make our connections to the faulted cable. First ensure that the cable is de-energized and disconnect the low break or elbow based on your company's particular guidelines. Next, connect the ground leads from the 5250 to the system ground, whether it be a ground rod or a vehicle, depending on your situation. Next, connect the high voltage leads to the system a bushing probe can be inserted into the load brake and then connect the vice grips to the bushing probe. Or an MC elbow adapter can be used to connect to the load brake. Then connect the high voltage return to the concentric neutral within the system. With our connections properly made, we can begin the basic mode test sequence. To begin the test sequence, you want to hit test cable. The TDR will prompt the user if all the cables have been properly connected to the system to be tested. If so, press next. At this point, the TDR will send a low voltage impulse through the cable seeking impedance changes and will automatically locate the, end of the length of the cable under test. It will also display distance on the screen as well. Next, the user will be asked if they're ready to thump on the cable at 8kV. At this point, the 5250 will send a high voltage impulse through the cable to break over the fault and automatically locate the distance to the fault. So press next. The unit will begin to charge and then discharge at 8 kV. 
The high voltage impulse is depicted by the red line and the negative inflection depicts where the cable fault is. And the TDR automatically locates where that fault is and displays the distance to the fault at 122 and a half feet on this particular test cable. Next, the user is asked if they're ready to listen for the thump Once the 5250 begins discharging, the other individual who is listening for the fault can begin pinpointing the thump using the Hypertronics flash phone listening device. Now that the cable fault has been pinpointed, the faulty cable can be unearthed and repaired to return service to customers. Now we can shut down the unit as well. Press shut down on the TDR to shut down the TDR. Then select yes if you wish to shut down the system. Now that the TDR has been powered off, we can also hit down the power switch on the capacitor discharge portion of the unit. Now that concludes our demonstration of the 5250 in basic mode operation. To recap, first connect the 5250 to the cable under test. Ensure the cable is de-energized and connect the high voltage output adapter to the cable. Then connect the high voltage return clamp to the concentric neutral. And finally, connect the ground clamp to the system ground. Next, power on the capacitor discharge portion of the unit, then power on the TDR. Ensure the TDR mode slash manual mode switch is set to TDR mode for TDR mode operation. Next, initiate the cable fault prelocating test sequence in basic mode by pressing test cable. The test sequence will begin with a low voltage TDR sample to determine the length of cable under test and will be followed by a high voltage TDR sample to determine the distance to fault. Now begin listening for the thump at the TDR's predetermined distance along the cable path to pinpoint the exact location. Press yes to enable cycle mode and then press start once the test voltage is selected and the unit will begin charging and discharging. Adjust the output voltage as needed. Press pause or engage the emergency stop to end the test. Finally, power off the 5250 and unearth the cable where the fault was located and repair the cable. If you'd like to learn how to operate the 5250 in advanced mode, please follow the link below to our advanced mode demonstration. And for more information, please visit our website for data sheets and more videos. Thank you for watching.